Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about XML path in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, add here it converts column data from vertical to horizontal. Vertical to horizontal. So, let's see the record inside employee table. So, this is the record. So, if you want to convert location, so add here this is the vertical format to horizontal. So, we have to use XML path. So see right here, this is employee, employee record and after executing by using for XML path. So let's see the output. So see right here, uh, data is now this format. So it's now converted into horizontal format by using XML path. So this is the main benefit of XML path in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So this will convert whatever vertical records into horizontal format. So see at here if you execute this query or here. So this is record now here in this format. So after applying our external path, so it's now converted into this format. So sometimes what happens if the situation comes when ID name or DO birth are same of employee. But here location or city are different. So I wanna make so add your ID name DOB. So I'm gonna make this uh, city of employee. Okay, uh, into one row. So for this we have to use external path. So see add your external path. When the ID equal to ID, so for this we have to use external path. So this week uh, group by and your ID in one group by. After that apply external path. So the uh, name or uh, customer name is now in the one row. So sometimes customer change their address here. So by using external path, we can achieve this kind of situation. So this two things and few things related to external path. So add here. So if you keep a space between here, single cut. So what happened? Execute. So add here getting the error message. And if you did not include any single cut at this point. So if you execute this query, so again the syntax here. That means so there must be some single code. Or you can give at here like for actual this 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 or uh, this way. So see at your external path. So this is by using external path I achieved. So this kind of situation, see at here, external path. This kind of situation we can achieve. So suppose if you I'm not going to include at this point path. So let's see what happened. So if you did not include add your path here or single code, so add here this is a, a displaying a XML tag. So add here this is the a start row and here ending a start row ending a start row ending. So if you did not include add your bracket, so this will give you a add your XML. Row. So these are the things about to external path in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.